In our top story tonight, in just about 60 days, Central Texas students will head back to school, but staffing isn't 100% locked in for many of our local districts. We just scared all the kids in the I summer know. break and made them mad. Now, the number of teachers has dropped tremendously. <laughs> Six News reporter Bailey Bates explains why and what some of our districts are doing to close the gap. In about two months, Texas public schools will look like this. 100% back in the classroom. Uh, we know we can do better academic work, we can catch up, and it wouldn't be such a stressor and stretch, such a toll on our teachers. And just how hard last year was shows in the numbers of teachers still around. I know that people are really tired. Waco ISD's teacher turnover rate is higher than last year, but the number is trending to what they had in previous years. Our commitment is to have a teacher uh, in every classroom when we open the doors in August. The problem isn't how many they need to hire. It's just that they can't find the people like everyone else. My staff was on a job fair this week and there were over 100 districts on that job fair because they have a great need for teachers. So it's not just Waco ISD, absolutely not. Many educators left the profession after the pandemic made a tough job even tougher. Midway ISD had twice as many people retire or quit this year than in a normal school year. Anecdotally, the things we heard were a little bit of fear of COVID. Some people were retiring for health reasons. Some were um, resigning or retiring from fatigue. Some really have opportunities to do other work with the way that the workforce is right now. And Giant School District Colleen is looking to hire 200 plus teachers. But it's not easy. Schools are having to get creative to bring people in, like bonuses, referral programs, and searching statewide. If you are new to Colleen ISD, you will get an immediate $1,000 for being a professional hire or $500 for being an auxiliary hourly employee. Maya says Colleen ISD had at least 14 interviews for teaching positions today. And like all districts in the state, they're searching through a small pool of people in hopes of being fully staffed come the first day of school. For 6 News. I'm Billy Bates.